Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something different. We've got myself, we've got Hubby Lux there in the background, say hello. Hello. And we are going to be making a cake. Now this cake is going to be a bit of a Donna Summer. The reason why I say that is because I left my cake out in the rain. <laughs> the box is wet. Now what happened was... Uh, hubby picked out the box from me as I was walking out through the kitchen door and I got halfway down the garden and I was like why do I need to be carrying this for so I just popped it down on the chair and forgot about it and it had been raining in the meantime so I left my cake out in the rain and the box is a little bit wet so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a Betty Crocker's classic coffee cake mix this is what we're going to be doing. You simply add eggs, oil, water and icing. We're going to be making our own icing with this cake. We're going to make a coffee icing, a buttercream coffee icing. Now, because I'd left it out in the rain, um, let's have a look. No, we're safe. It's in a plastic bag. So even though the box has got wet, the plastic bag has protected the contents, which is very good in case you ever leave your cake out in the rain in the future. So what we're going to have a look at now is all the ingredients. Okay, so looking at the back of my rather damp box, uh, preparation time is 10 minutes, baking time is 23 to 28 minutes. So the first thing I need to do is put the oven on and because the oven is fan assisted, it says... Um, fan assisted ovens 160 degrees. So there we go, so I'm going to preset the oven now to uh, 160. So I've got most of the ingredients here, so it says you need 90 mils of vegetable oil, 100 mils of water, which I've put into this jug, three medium free range eggs, which are on this plate. Uh, we've got, it asks for the tub of Betty Crocker classic coffee icing, but we're going to be making our own. <clears throat> and two eight inch well greased cake tins. So. First thing we need to do is to grease the cake tins. So the tins are now greased and what I need to do is put a, a little bit of flour in them to help them stop sticking, which I forgot to get beforehand. So that's all I do is just sprinkle a little bit of flour in each pan, like so. Hubby's got one pan, I'm going to do the other pan, and you just sprinkle the flour around it, so it sticks to the sides as well. That's actually not making too much of a mess, is it? No. Did you used to um, help your mum cook in, bake in? Yep, I did sometimes, but not for a long time. What about in school? Did, were boys doing did cooking in school? It's compulsory. Really? Yeah. Ah, so Aussies can cook then. Right, let me just tap out the excess. There we go, that's one tin. I'm going to tap out the excess of this tin. Okay, we've got the pans greased. Now we have to make up the cake. I've got a lovely big mixing bowl here, you can see. Let's go back to my wet box. It says, mix the eggs, the oil, the water, and the cake mix gently together and whisk for two to three minutes until creamy. So if you do that, I will pour in the eggs. You were supposed to put the mix in first. No, it says everything together. This is more like a throw in all in one type of cake, I think. Now this is supposed to be, Oh yeah, the coffee will be in the actual cake, won't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Let me just get cross. So there we go. Now I'm going to get the cake mix, which is here. Let's just open it. And what we're going to do is, as I need a scissors. Dankeschön. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, while Hubby Lux is mixing, I'm going to start adding some of the cake uh, mix in. Uh, so I'm just going to move the camera a little bit closer so you can see us mixing in. 
Okay, so I've repositioned the camera and now Hubby's gonna start mixing and I'm gonna start pouring in. So that is everything all mixed up. I'm just going to remove the mixers. There's a bloody fly in here. Pop that over there. Now I'm going to rinse these out in a minute because we will need them for the butter icing. But I'll just put them to one side for now. And I'll clean them for the next use. I've got my spatula here. So just making sure that this is all mixed up nice and evenly the smell of coffee it smells really nice doesn't Ooh, it, it does smell nice. oh it's quite it's not too strong but strong enough that you can see it's coffee cake right okay so we've got our two pans in here so just make sure you can see yes you can and i'm gonna hold the bowls and hubby is going to pour the cake mix in so leave the pan down on the on there that's it and I'll let you judge half and half. Mmm, cake tonight. Okay, let's move on to the next pan. And let's just try and judge between half of the pans. It's quite a big mixing bowl but I do like this mixing bowl because you know you can really get to town with the mixer and it's not gonna fly everywhere it's got a nice big space to it so what do you reckon? A bit more in there, a little bit more in there, scrape off the remnants I need to get a new scraper because that one got a bit melted <laughs> Ooh, nice, nice, nice scraping action there. So what you need to do then to scrape it off is use your little finger. I'll do it. And then just scrape it off. This is what my nan used to do. Because my grandmother, Nita, used to make a lot of cakes back in the day. There used to be um, a shop in Swansea, I remember. It was like a pick and mix Thai style of um, shop. Mm. Chef's privilege. Um, and you could literally go in and buy the ready-made mixes and then just, do you know what I mean? Instead of like pick and mix sweets, it was all like pick and mix cake mixes. That's a good idea. Yeah, it was, yes. Yeah. So you could go in and you say, oh, I'm gonna make a cake for six people. And then it would tell you how much of the mix that you would need and then you would just mix it in. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to even this into the corners, thank you, of the cake tin. Just to make sure that it reaches around every bit. And I think you need to sort of like tap it. Tap the thing down. Keep tapping. I think that looks good. Let's move over to the next one. Let me just squidge that into the corners. Corners, you don't have corners on a round tin. Uh, into the edges. There we go. It's, it's nice and thick, isn't yeah, it? it is. mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, so there we go. Mm. Excuse me, I'm just licking the bowl. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't take the bowl away from me. Okay, now let's get them in the oven. 
So the oven has now reached its temperature. The little indicator light lets me know that it has reached its temperature. I am going to put one on each level because it's a fan oven, it's not going to make any difference. And it says to cook it for 18 to 22 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 20 minutes, please. 20 minutes. And I'm just going to finish off this bowl. Okay, so Alexa just went ping, ping, ping and told me that the cake was ready. It's been 20 minutes. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. Now I'm just going to get a stick, which I have in the drawer. So I'm just gonna get a little stick here. I'm going to pull it in, pull it out, yep the stick has come out clean so that is done, I'm going to pull out the other one next, mmm, let me just turn off the oven, let's bring you closer and take a look, the sponges smell absolutely lovely, they are lovely and springy, and they look nice and fluffy, they are very hot, so Basically, we are done with this now until they cool down. I will wait for them to cool down and I will take them out of the metal casings, uh, the cake tins. So what we're gonna crack on now with is the coffee icing. And what I'm gonna do is, for the coffee flavored icing, we're gonna be using Beanie's Flavor Coffee Cinder Toffee Instant Coffee. This is something that we bought, um, I can't remember where we bought it actually, he did say, I'll have to ask him when he comes back now. Uh, we bought this and I'm not a particular fan of it, but um, it does smell nice, it smells of toffee, it's got a very nice little toffee flavour to it, so that's what we're going to be using for the icing. Okay, so the cakes are there cooling down lovely. What we're going to do now is the icing, the butter icing, with the special coffee flavour. Um, where did we buy that coffee again? I forgot. Aldi, I think. Oh, oh yeah, that's right, yeah. So this was from Aldi, um, and was it wasn't very expensive. It was American Week or whatever. Yeah, it was the American Week. Remember when I did? we did the cooking of the... Um, pancakes with the silicone molds it was we had it then when they had their American week going on so what I have done is in this cup I've got a little bit of milk that I've had warming it is now a little bit cooler let me just get a little actually can I have a spoon rest please I think it's in yep so what I'm gonna do is put in a couple of teaspoons of this coffee Actually, I'm going to put there, that'll be nice. And I'm just going to mix this up thoroughly so it's completely dissolved. And I will keep doing that before I, we add it into the mix because you want it nice and mixed up. So, first thing we're going to do is the buttercream. Um, I have a palette knife, thank you. And what we're going to do is, I'm not going to measure it out. now. I don't know about you, but I personally don't like cupcakes and stuff with like heaps of icing. No, we prefer kind of like less icing and more cake. So I'm just gonna pop in some butter. There we go. This is just, uh, this is from Aldi's as well. This is just, uh, it's like a stalk kind of um, butter. So what hubby is going to do is, hubby is going to, there's a horrible fly here, 
Happy is going to mix up the butter, so let me just get you over it. Okay, so Hubby's going to start mixing that up to be nice and creamy. I've got some icing sugar here. And that's all I'm going to do is add in a little bit of icing sugar at a time. So now I'm just going to spoon in some of the coffee. And a little bit more icing. We're going to continue with this now until it's done. Okay, so that is the icing done. It does actually, if I have a little taste. Again. Mm-hmm, again. Is a nice hint of the of the of the toffee coffee. It's also almost tastes a bit sort of like um, caramel. Mm. It's really nice. So the icing is now done. I'm going to leave this in the fridge for a few minutes while I wait for the cakes to do. Very quickly, I've just loosened off the cakes so they can come out of the tin. They've cooled down enough that I can handle them. And I'm just gonna turn it upside down and take my long palette knife and just gently, gently he says, just loosen them off the base. Bugger. Go back around this corner. There we go, that's not too bad, there's one. Let's just do the other one. So I'm just gonna loosen around the edges first. I think next time I'll use parchment with them as well. That would make it a lot easier to come off. I just don't wanna lose any edge. In. 
Ugh, never mind. But it's fine. It's only on the inside. No one's going to see that. Okay, so we've got the cakes free. What we need to do is just finish off leaving them cool down, clean up this mess, and then come back to you then for decorating the cake. Okay, so the cakes have cooled down lovely. I was looking in the cupboard and I found this. Betty Crocker cookbook, 1,500 recipes for the way you cook uh, today. This was given by our friends Nancy and Barbara. So I pulled that out. I thought, oh, Betty Crocker, let's go for it. So that's the Betty Crocker cookbook. Bought and given to me from the USA. It was $21.99. So what I'm going to do is ice, well I'm not, actually hubby is going to ice the top of the coffee cake and then uh, whatever's left over is going to be for the filling because I really want the top to look really good. I've even got my really, really nice cake stand here. Now this is actually a cake stand and uh, how do you do it? Turn it around like that. Put that in there and then you have a dessert bowl or a um, trifle or a drinks, uh, what oh, do you call punch. it? Yeah, a punch bowl as well. So this is really good. We bought this in a cook shop somewhere at some point. Brighton. In Brighton, there we go. So what we are going to do is decorate the top. For that, I'm going to put a plate on the top of that. I'm going to remove this because of that pesky fly that's been around. And let's take this one because this is the most solid one. I'm going to turn this upside down as it is. I'm going to put that to one side for a minute and I'm just going to fill the icing bag up with icing. So that's been in the fridge for a little while. Okay, so let's put some icing into this bag. Mm, it smells so nice, nice and thick. Uh, I'm gonna put lots in it because it doesn't matter. I'll leave that there. Let's prime the icing bag. As you can see, just make sure there's everything out of it. There we go, that is the icing bag primed for hubby Lux. He's going to decorate the cake. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera over and put it in fast forward and we are going to ice the top of the cake. Okay, so we did a fantastic job of that. It looks really nice. We go in for this kind of um, frozen theme. Let's pop that on there, put a little bit on to hold it on. I'm going to use the rest of what is in here because this is just going to be for the filling. So we'll just pipe that on not to waste any. Excellent. Now I'm going to use my palette knife, the cake decorating palette knife, and I'm just going to scrape whatever's left in the bowl out of it. Just blob it on. Actually, I think I might have to use this just to make sure. I don't want to waste any icing. I so need to get another one of these. Oops, we have overflow. Mm. This smells nice. Okay, so we've got all of that out. So I'm just going to spread this over the top without wrecking it because it's going to end up like a cake wreck. Mmm, <laughs> that looks nice. So I'm just going to spread that over. I wanted to do this bit last because it's been in the fridge. It's a little bit um, colder, so, and the cake looks really fresh. Okay, we are done. That will do. Waste not, want not. Next thing we've got to do is pop the top on. So I am just basically going to slide the top of the cake on. Mm -hmm. 
we go. Oops, there's a little bit of dribbling there. Mm, mm, mm. Let's zoom in. Mm, how do we think of that? That is. Mm, 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 mm. Where's the box? So we have made a Betty Crocker's classic coffee cake mix. That is our Betty Crocker classic coffee cake mix done and ready for the eating. I think Hubby Lux should cut a slice and then we can take a look at the inside. Let me get a plate. Okay, cut away. Mm. It looks lovely and soft. Just a little slice, just a tasty, tasty. Let's take a little slice and pop it on the plate. Ooh. Now that looks good. Right, let's just flop it over. Oops, it's fallen over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, let's taste it. So there we go. That's the end of our little cooking video. Let's take a taste. The sponge is nice and soft, I have to say. Mm. I have to say, that is really nice. And that tinder coffee, the flavor of that on the icing. Cinder. Cinder coffee, sorry. Mmm. I am liking this cake. I am liking this cake a lot. Um, this is mine. I don't know where hubby's is. I don't know where that's gone. Yeah. Uh, so next time we're going to be cooking. What's the um, next cake we got in the um, cupboard? Because we bought a couple of these Betty Crockers. Spiced ginger. Mm. Like me. Spiced ginger, just like me. So that is going to be the next cake that we're going to be cooking together. Mm. I'm living for this cake. Living for it. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. It's been a bit of a fun making this cake. It definitely looks very nice. And yes, I will take some in for Verity Lux for tomorrow into work and her husband. But Verity will only be allowed to have a tiny slither and a big wodge will go to Ashley. So <laughs> sorry, Verity. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe below for more videos. There's quite a lot of different videos there you will see in the playlist. So have a flick through and see what interests you, and I will see you all very soon. Bye. Bye.